Of all the lighthearted gags that Mark Davis added to the Jungle Cruise, there was just a few that didn't quite make the cut. Like, for instance, the man-eating plant that would burp after his meal. There was a few ideas about animals that would face off against one another, like this crocodile fight that they could never really figure out how to do mechanically. One of my favorites is how this hunter blows the fur off this tiger's back end. And then there were the railroad advertising scenes that would try to entice people to go on the Jungle Cruise. Because back then, the more people who went on attractions, the more money they made. None of them ever actually got completed except for one, but it didn't end up by the railroad. It ended up in the attraction. Because when Walt saw the trap safari, he said, Mark, that's too good. We've got to put it in the ride. Mark Davis could easily have given up when his team rejected his ideas, but he just kept moving forward, still creating and trusting his process. There will always be people who don't like your man-eating plants, but that doesn't mean they aren't worthy of creation.